So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reuse your Google Forms that you used last school year. So you do not have to make a copy. When you make a copy of a Google Form, one, it creates another copy in your, in your drive, and that's going to uh, just keep adding things to your Google Drive that you don't need to. And if you have any um, programs running, so any extensions running in your Google Sheet, then you're going to have to redo all of that work. So if you have Autocrat or Formule and you just make a copy of your Google Form, you're going to have to redo all of that work. So I'm going to save you time. So this will be a time saver video. In this example, this is the uh, staff walkthrough. So this is a Google Form principles used when they were doing their walkthroughs uh, with staff. All of this was then um, saved into a Google Sheet. This information in this Google Sheet is then fed through to create this walkthrough document, which the teacher is emailed after the observation. And this is done through an, uh, a Google Sheets extension called Autocrat. Because it's a little complicated, if we just make a copy of this Google Form, um, we would have to start from scratch creating the autocrat um, information and all of the stuff. And sometimes <laughs> we forget. We're like, oh wait, I had this set. How did I have it set up on that other form? I can't remember. So I'm gonna show you how you can unlink the form. You're gonna delete the responses, but don't freak out because we have this, um, we have this spreadsheet so this is all of our information from last year. So don't freak out that we're going to delete the responses because we have all of the data right here in this spreadsheet. And then we're gonna actually relink to this spreadsheet. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the responses tab right here. And we are going to go to the three dots or the skinny snowman as i like to say and you're going to unlink the form and what that does is no longer will these responses go to this spreadsheet right here the otez 2.0 staff walkthrough spreadsheet so i'm just going to click unlink it's going to say are you sure you want to unlink the form and we're gonna say unlink. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna delete all the responses because we wanna use this staff walkthrough again next year. And I forgot to mention, a huge benefit of doing this is that you don't have to change the original link that you used last year for this Google Form. The link is the same because we're not making a copy. Once you make a copy of a Google Form, that link changes. So if you have the link for that Google form in a parent email or a staff email or you bookmarked it, you're gonna have to redo that bookmark. You're gonna have to delete it. You're gonna have to um, rebookmark the new one. So by just using the same form and not making a copy, we're not making a copy. Um, it does save, um, it does save a lot of work that way. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so responses, we still have 52 responses. So we unlink the form. Now we need to delete these responses. And are you sure you want to? Yes, because I'm not worried about this because we created a spreadsheet and all the data is in that spreadsheet from last year. Now, if you, for some reason, have a Google form that you did not create a, a um, spreadsheet, you might want to do that before you delete all the responses. So I'm gonna click OK. So now we have a brand new I don't know why it says waiting for responses. That's weird, but anywho. If you have anything in the description of your Google form that we used last year, you can go in and edit it. So maybe if it said 2021 and you wanna change it to 2022, you could definitely go in and do that. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually relink our responses for this year's Google form to the spreadsheet that we had from last year. But before I do that, I'm gonna go into this spreadsheet from last year 
and I'm just gonna change, see how it says form responses down here? I wanna rename that to 2021-22. You see that little shark tooth right there? If we click on that, we can rename that sheet. So I'm just gonna go 2021 to 2022. So now, and then I can just click anywhere off of that. So right here, we have 2021, 22. The reason I did this is because I'm going to relink our nice new clean Google form to this um, spreadsheet. So I will have last year's data and this year's data all in the same spreadsheet. So let's go back into this Google form and where it says responses, right here where it says create spreadsheet, if you click on that, I have an option. I can create a new spreadsheet or I can select an existing spreadsheet and that's what I wanna do. I wanna select, I want the responses for this year to go in the same responses that I have for last year. So select existing spreadsheet because it already exists, it's right there. Select. Now it's gonna say choose a spreadsheet where we'll copy responses to your form. So where do you want this to go? So I'm gonna click on that so it's highlighted and then I'm gonna click select. So if you notice down here, I have form response two, and then I have 2021, 22. So this, remember how we changed the date? So here is last year's information, and then this is form response two. So because we relinked to last year's spreadsheet, it will remember all of the autocrat settings that we had set for last year. So that's the huge benefit of relinking it to um, last year's spreadsheet because we were using that autocrat. So we, it's real simple, I'll show you. So let me show you. If I go up to extensions, I'm gonna go down to autocrat and I'm gonna open it. Because I linked the form to the sheet we used last year, look at what came up. Otez walkthrough, this is all the stuff that we did for the autocrat. The only thing we have to change is where it's pulling from, is what tab in the spreadsheet it's pulling from. So I'm gonna go to the edit button right here. Whenever you see that little pencil, that means edit. Otez walkthrough, that's fine. Keep it the same. Go to next. It is pulling, here's the currently selected template, which is this one right here, which looks good. So I'm gonna say next. Now, right here, it is pulling from, see where it says merge tab? It's pulling from 2021, 22. We wanna change that. We're gonna go to this little drop down menu and we're gonna choose form response two. So we're gonna choose form response two. Notice we didn't have to change what it's pulling from, all that stuff. We didn't have to re-tag things. Then we go to next. Um, this is the name it was. We can leave it that way. It's, it's creating a PDF, which is fine. Um, it's going into a folder called staff evaluation. If you wanna change that folder, you can, but right now that's where it's going. Next. That looks good. Here is the email. So all of this is the same, the same wording. So if you wanna change any of that, you can, or you can just leave it the same. I, I'm all about leaving it the same. It's running on a form trigger, and then we're gonna click save. So if we would have made a copy of this form, we would have had to redo all of that stuff. Um, we would have had to re-tag everything. Um, so this is just such an easier way to do it and then I can close out of that. So that's about it. What you don't wanna do is make a copy. Don't make a copy of your Google form. Just go in and in the response tab, you just want to unlink the form and then delete all the responses. This is especially true 
if you have autocrat running or form mule running, all that stuff, because you don't have to change any of that. You just need to pull it. When you open up form mule or autocrat, you just need to pull it um, from the new tab in the spreadsheet. So I hope this was helpful and reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day.